what's good youtube akil here back with another video and today i'm gonna go back to burlington because like i said in the last video i've been seeing a lot of dope finds that other people have been finding in burlington and the one in my area is usually trash but sometimes you never know you just gotta keep hitting some of these stores and you never know what you'll find so i'm gonna go back there today and probably check out a different one as well hopefully i can come up with something at least a pair of jordans something you never know what you'll find but I'm also going to take you guys to the thrift and once again we'll keep things going with this squat everyday challenge because I'm keeping up with it and I'm trying to just hold myself accountable by sharing the journey with you guys as well. So if you guys are interested in these type of videos hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado let's get into it. Hi right, y'all so like I said I was just in Burlington yesterday but you never know what you'll find and I came across this pair of super reps and I picked up some of these before in in Ross when they had that navy blue colorway and those have been just been sitting for me so I might have to check uh, check the comps on those to see if those are selling better but I've been sitting on those other super reps for a while now so usually I you know anytime I'm checking the comps sometimes I'll type in the, the style code or I might type in the actual name of the shoe because some people list stuff on eBay and they don't use the style code. So you always want to make sure you're doing both. Um, as you guys can see, the comps on these are not that high. Some are like 70 to 80 bucks. But you want to also make sure that you check the filters and then click on to see the sold listings. Because what other people have it listed for isn't that important to me at least. And of course, as, after I just checked it out, um, I think we just only have four results and that $100 listing, um, kind of like an outlier. So I don't know about that. I'll still check it out and I might have to take a chance on those, but I don't know. Drop a comment if you guys have been picking those up. Now, next was this pair of, I don't even know the name of these, but they're, they look kind of comfortable. They look kind of cool, but they've been sitting in Burlington for a very long time. Uh, these are all the same shoes that I've been seeing in Burlington fairly often. They're not necessarily moving. Um, I think somebody just put these Harachi drifts here because I definitely didn't see those the last time I was here yesterday. But it just kind of gives me hope knowing that they they actually put some new shoes here uh, since I've been here last. So hopefully we can come across something good. And luckily, as soon as I turned the corner, there was a pair of Vapor Maxes just chilling right next to a pair of boots. Those somebody probably just put those back. They look like somebody just tried them on, actually. So for whatever reason, they, they probably left them and I just came at the perfect time. Now, 70 bucks, kind of pricey, but Vapor Max does hold its value. And the thing what I've learned is that you always want to squeeze the air bubble because you never know what some of these Air Maxes. Sometimes the bubble might be uh, a little flat and that's why they might end up in some of these discount stores. Uh, next up was this pair of running shoes or maybe just workout shoes. Not really sure. Kind of cool colorway, but overall the shoe was kind of weird and the comps were really, really low. So I didn't pick those up. Now, these Chelsea boots were really dope in my opinion. If you guys ever checked out my IG, these type of these type of boots are my style all day long. But Hush Puppies aren't a high quality shoe at all. So I just dropped those and put them back. So now we're just going to check out the thrift since I wasn't able to come across anything good in Ross or Burlington over these past couple of days and found a really dope bomber jacket and it, it's, I had to touch the collar. It almost felt like velvet. Really, really nice, soft to the touch. Um, this, this is genuine leather. So anytime I come across um, these type of vintage bomber jackets, uh, I usually only pick up the genuine leather ones. The faux leather ones still sell, but to me, I just think the genuine leather holds its value a little better. So I'll definitely be picking this one up because this is the perfect time to pick up stuff like this because that's what people are searching for during the fall and winter. Next up came across this orange Nike track jacket and at first I actually thought this one was a vintage piece but after checking out the tag it's clearly a new age piece with that black Nike tag on here and I to, personally I think they were asking a little too much for this they were asking 10 bucks for this one and even though I don't sell as much clothing as I used to if it was maybe say five bucks I probably would have took a chance on it but for 10 it's definitely not worth it to me. Now, next up, speaking of vintage pieces, this is something that's uh, vintage inspired to say the least. Definitely not vintage, more of like a new age piece, but it does have that really dope puff print on this one. And this is something that, you know, if it was my size, I probably would wear something like this to the gym, but I'll definitely still be picking this one up. But speaking of the gym, your boy was in here trying to keep up with the squat everyday challenge. And as you guys know, I hate doing cardio, but still got to do it. I try to do at least five to 10 minutes anytime I'm in there. Sometimes I might do some jumper sometimes I might do the stepper but as soon as I get off the doing cardio make sure I do my stretches because I tell you guys all the time as you get older you definitely got to stretch and warm up before you start touching any type of weight 
And for me, as soon as I start touching any weight, I would usually just go with the bar first just to get my form right and just start to continue the warm up really. So I usually would start with lower weight and just work my way up to 315 with the squat everyday challenge. And I don't know if I clarified it, but I'm not squatting every single day. It's basically just every day that I go to the gym and I usually train five to six days a week. And the funny thing is, I remember when I was like, you know, 15, 16, I would never warm up. I would just start touching weights and just start lifting and doing reps all crazy but as you get older you realize that it's all about longevity so you definitely just want to start warming up more and just taking your time and focusing on form and for me as soon as I got to 315 it wasn't moving as as fluid and as fast as it usually does and I wasn't even able to hit um, 10 reps so I had to just you know I split it up this time I usually would just do 10 reps straight but this time I had to kind of split it up. But it's really like I told you guys earlier, it's all about just trying to build that mental toughness. I told myself I'm going to hit 315 for at least 10. So even though I wasn't able to knock it out in the first set, the next set I just continued going. And then from there, once I got those 10, uh, those 10 reps out the way, I was good to go. But um, the, the squat everyday challenge is definitely not for everybody. I'm not going to suggest that you guys go out and try it. Just try doing the difficult things that you tend to avoid. Try doing that every day. And for me, it's the squat everyday challenge. And um, hopefully you guys can just, you know, pick up a little something from that. All right, y'all. So once I'm done with the squats, I just try to maintain a full body workout. Now, this is more of like a recent program I've been doing for the last maybe six to eight months. And this program has really it's, it's helped me. I see a lot of gains, a lot of improvements in terms of strength and my overall physique. But it's one of those things that it just kind of holds me more accountable because I would just like most guys in the gym. I would just really focus solely on upper body and really just chest, um, chest and arms probably might do the leg press but by doing this full body workout it makes me keep doing calisthenics which is really good for maintaining actual strength and this is also something else that i used to avoid just shoulders shoulder workouts i used to hate doing them and just by doing uh, this full body workout for the last you know, like i said six to eight months i'm seeing a ton of improvements in my overall strength uh, me being able to push two plates on each shoulder was almost impossible um, this time last year but like i said seeing a lot of improvements also when it came to working out calves i never used to work out calves and like I said, the full body program that I'm on, I'll probably throw up a screenshot of it so you guys can check that out. I actually got that from a YouTuber named Jeff Nippard. Uh, he got a really good uh, full body program and I basically just stole it from him. But next up, I'm just going to be doing some leg raises because abs is something I used to avoid as well. But as I'm getting older, I'm really just trying to see uh, how I can build my physique. And you never know, one day you might even see me on a bodybuilding stage. But it is what it is. Uh, this for the last uh, workout, I was just going to do some cheat curls. And they're called cheat curls because basically since your back is not against the wall you have a lot of momentum and a lot of leverage uh, with your legs and your shoulders so I usually would start at about 80 pounds and build my way up to uh, sometimes 100 or sometimes I might just continue to do a bunch of sets with the 90s but the funny thing is in today's video um, this was clearly a mistake this was not me trying to flex or anything I literally just picked up the wrong bar and after I was after I did sets of nine, I think I did a set of 10 or a set of 12 with the 90 pound. I was supposed to just pick up the hundreds and just keep it going, but I picked up the, the wrong bar. So as you guys can see, your boy was over here struggling with this with this set right here. But it is what it is. I think it, it's good that I kind of pushed myself to the limit with this one. And it was a good surprise after I was finished with the 110s because I didn't think I could do it. And I at least got six reps. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, in terms of the finds, we definitely don't have a ton to share, so I'll just run through them really quickly. Picked up this pair of Vapor Max for $69.99. Kind of pricey, in my opinion, in, in terms of Burlington's pickups. But these were selling anywhere between like $120 to $140. So these might have to sit for a while until the flood kind of dies down on these. But there was in a size 13. It wasn't that many size 13s available. So I'll just wait until the right buyer comes along. But as usual, I'll be able to save some money on fees. So even if I have to wait a little while to 
kind of recoup that profit i'll do i'll it's it, to me i think it might be worth it next up was this vintage inspired t-shirt it's definitely not vintage by any means but it definitely is vintage inspired with this dope all over print nothing on the back but the sleeves have like a really dope graphic on it as well so this was only two bucks and my wife will definitely be keeping this one she actually tried it on and it's that nice oversized fit that she likes with some of these vintage tees so she'll be keeping this one and this jacket I actually saw this as soon as I walked into the thrift and this one I think was $12.99 and these bomber jackets definitely sell for a decent amount of profit especially right now during the fall and winter I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get anywhere between 80 to 100 bucks for these type of coats so I'll be listing it right around there and see how long it takes to sell but I've sold tons of these in the past and they usually always sell pretty fast during this time of the year so all right y'all that's all I got for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Put a winner.